poppin diva gang it's your good sis back with another video this is a little different um we're doing a face cam type of situation and i'm doing a really really simple kind of airbrush video today because i wanted to provide you all with um some general airbrush nail tips um so if you see me looking like up down all around it's because i'm looking at my camera camera my laptop here my camera here and then my notes are here so if you see me looking up down all around that's why but yeah this is just another way that i kind of wanted to um add the personal aspect back into my channel and here i am so let's just get right into it grab yourself a snack grab you a little drinky poo because i got one and let's get into it so like i said um this is gonna be a face cam tutorial i'm not doing anything you guys haven't seen me do before and i'm just gonna be talking about um all the different tips that i have for beginner airbrushers and just some things that i've kind of learned along the way y'all know i love me some airbrush nail art i'm wearing an airbrush oh this is a set that i made in the video actually so yeah let's just jump right in um so the first tip that i have is has to do with safety so when you're airbrushing you want to make sure you're wearing a mask some gloves if you can if you don't have any you know whatever but you definitely definitely want to have a mask you want to make sure you have plenty of paper towel nearby because if you can't tell by my videos already it's a pretty messy process and you just want to make sure you have paper towel um close by you want to be able to do quick cleanups and things like that and you also just don't want to get airbrush all over everything on your desk like i'm so mad i got freaking i think this is like gel polish airbrush residue on my nail art display diamond and if anyone has any advice for how to clean this please let me know i think i'm gonna just try using some alcohol but make sure you got that nearby also make sure you have good ventilation if you don't have like an hvac or an actual like ventilation system make sure you open up the windows um open up your door if you can and just make sure you have proper ventilation so that you're not breathing in too many toxins uh the next tip that i have is so when you're mixing the solution like i'm actually doing at this moment right here you want to maybe this might help mix the solution outside of that little pod so maybe in like a dappin dish and then use maybe some like droppers to actually put it in the thing um because it'll probably make for more mess free um application i did see one someone else do that but i don't be having the time for that i feel like i'm skilled enough to where i can just go straight in but if you're a first time airbrusher that might be a good little tip for you my nose runs whenever i'm wearing makeup and it's super annoying um so third tip i have i have 10 in total um always use the highest or the most strongest setting on your airbrush just because it's kind of a waste of time i feel like anyway to use the lower setting and i feel like you probably end up using too much of your um solution you know your product solution so i definitely recommend to always just go ahead and use the highest setting um <laughs> yeah I, I feel like you also get kind of skilled at it a little bit faster if you just go ahead and use the highest setting so that's um one recommendation that i have for new airbrushers number four is when you are mixing your solution add more gel polish than acetone i cannot stress this enough this is going to save you so much time so much frustration more gel polish whenever you think you have enough add more okay obviously you don't want to clog it up but i'm telling you if you err on the side of more gel polish it'll save you so much time so much frustration and overall i feel like you'll just get the hang of using the airbrush more quickly than if you try and be skimp with the amount of product that you use um and it's also going to give you a better result it's going to give you a better blend it's going to just give you a better airbrushed look so if you're struggling with like making your solution solution and things like that um just try adding some more gel polish and um i think you'll have different results the next tip that i have number five is spray multiple nails at once which you actually saw me doing here so Spraying multiple nails at once is something that I don't know why it didn't occur to me like earlier. You definitely want to make sure that you create a nice big hole in that paper towel 
and you're able to get all those nails at one time because hello it's gonna save you more time it's gonna save you more frustration and it's gonna help you make things even I feel like when I was airbrushing nails um one by one they weren't all really coming out even the blends weren't like all blending together evenly so excuse me if you're struggling with airbrushing I can't stress this enough please give that a try by the way um I was trying to do like a holographic glitter top coat right here and I added too much glitter so I end up going in and thinning it out later but yeah I just want to point that out so yeah um if you're struggling with like your mixture or it's not coming out opaque enough for you try adding more gel polish uh number six um when you're spraying lighter or pastel colors like this one that i was using in this video here air um or not air but do several coats try to work with more several coats which is again why it's important to spray things all at once instead of trying to build the polish up so much and spray so much of it because that's what's gonna make you get like wrinkles in your polish so and i'm telling you it's gonna be it sounds like so annoying right now but if you spray them all at the same time it's definitely gonna help you save time and it'll go by like so fast if you just um work in coats as opposed to like kind of what i tried to do in the beginning here i did kind of have to like wipe it off and restart a few times so that's one thing that kind of came up when i was filming this video but yes um when you're doing like lighter pastel -y or just lighter kind of colors in general that maybe don't have a whole lot of opaqueness to them um work in more coats as opposed to like a longer spray if that makes sense uh where am i number seven okay uh when doing like baby boomers like these like um french ombre nails spray the lighter color or the less opaque color first so say i'm working with like a pink and an orange i'm probably going to spray the pink first just because orange most times is a little bit more pigmented than pink and um you know you're going to have an easier time blending them together if you want to you could even if you're using like clear full cover tips or whatever kind of tips you're using you can even um, just spray them both on the clear nail itself, but I don't really like doing that. I like to kind of have a base. I don't know, it's just something I'm kind of finicky about. But when you're doing that, just make sure that you, um, you know, you spray the lighter color first because it'll help you get the blend a little bit better. Or if you're doing like a regular French nude, you know, you want to go in with the white first as opposed to trying to build up the white on top of that nude or brown or whatever color you're using base. So. Yeah, that's one tip that I have. Um, all right, so number eight, we're getting down to the wire here. I did not think I was gonna have to rush this much, but it's all good. So number eight is when you're using airbrush stencils, so when you wanna kind of airbrush a shape into something, top coat the nails before you apply the stencil. That's gonna help it adhere to the nail better. It's not gonna lift as much. For some reason, when the nail is not sticky anymore, the, um, the stencil is able to adhere to the nail better and it's just gonna make the entire process easier. It's gonna help with your cleanup and it's just gonna give you like cleaner lines in your airbrush design. So um, if you don't know that already, try top coating the nails before you apply your stencils for like a cleaner airbrush finish. Whew. Number nine. <laughs> um, this one is kind of like, um, not really a tip, but kind of like some advice. I'm really, really interested in like multicolor ombres these days. I kind of want to do a multicolor ombre look for my graduation nails. And if you are too, um, but you're struggling with which colors go where, one is to think about the order of the rainbow and kind of follow that. And number two is to actually look up some designs on um, the internet and just see what colors go best in which order. And I don't know, I feel like it just helps me get prettier results whenever I can see like another example of something instead of just trying to pull it from my head. And then my last tip is to have fun. Um, airbrushing is super cool and I've said this so many times before but it really does open up a whole other world of possibilities for um, press on nail artists, nail artists in general. And it's super trendy right now and it's, it's such a cute look. Like I mean, I'm absolutely obsessed with like airbrushing and ombres these days i absolutely love it 
and have fun be creative there's no right way to do anything these are all just suggestions that i'm giving you to maybe you know um assist with the learning process because there is a little bit of a learning curve or there was for me anyway um so yeah just have fun and i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial let me know if you try out any of these tips if they're helpful for you let me know what you think of these nails i think they're super cute they give me such like powerpuff girl vibes which might be coming soon so keep an eye out for that i'm trying to still kind of get my ideas together for some powerpuff girl nails but yeah again thank you so much for watching the tutorial um leave me a comment below let me know what you thought of the video let me know if you find these tips helpful or if i'm just yapping my yibbers here don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already follow me on insta for more pictures of these nails and that's it peace